All right, so that's what we came back to. Uh, we went to town. I think I got a tree that went down over there. We went to town and came back, and man, there was a windstorm when we was in town. So, so we got this guy that's right by the cabin. Um, you can see where the root system starting to separate. See how it's pulling up right there? Root system separating from the ground, and you can see how far that's leaning now. And then we have two other trees over here. Uh, these two guys are leaning this way a lot more than they should. That dude is leaning, and I just noticed that big guy back there, but he's been dead for a long time. So, um, anyways, we just got back and was checking out if we had any damage or anything. And no damage, but uh, definitely, definitely had some high winds. All right. We're going in to get some groceries. Let's see what kind of craziness awaits us in town. Yeah. In town, off to Costco. Let's we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. <laughs> see if there's anything left. <laughs> Mama, uh -huh. we got back from the store. Oh my God. Was it chaotic? It was a shit show. <laughs> Language, Mama, this is family friendly. <laughs> oh my God, it was crazy. <laughs> it was a hot mess. It, it was horrible. People running around. We, we saw one of our friends there. He had a cart. He went to go get something else. Came back. Somebody ganked his cart with all the stuff in it. Yep, all the, all the wipes and <laughs> they, they stole his freaking cart, man. That's that's bad karma. Bad karma. Bad juju. <laughs> Crazy. All right, we're gonna get back to the cabin now. Let's go. Oh, here comes Gunner. Gunner's getting back with us. All right, hey, so uh, I got all the stuff out here to make our beds. So let's get uh, to cutting some lumber. I wanted to say a big thank you to Jerry. He, uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, when I first started using this log ox, one of the Carter pins came out, or I didn't accidentally, I didn't put it in, but um, anyways, I lost it. And he sent me a huge box of like several assorted like locking pins. There you go. So he sent me a huge box of different sizes of these little locking pins. So uh, thank you, Jerry. That was awful kind of you. Uh, trust me, uh, every single one of these pins that came with the log ox, I replaced with these these pins that you sent. So a big thumbs up to you. Thank you.
Well, I got four usable pieces of wood out of that that one uh, that one log that we did. Um, I also hooked up. So I have um, I've got a, an LMS 290 and I got an LMS 461. And so I I wanted to see how well the 290 cut as opposed to the uh, 461. And uh, dude, there's a huge difference. The 461. At first, I was like, man, it's just not cut through very good. But then when I put the 290 on it, uh, it the 461 just feels like it's going through butter. So uh, if you want to do something like this, I would definitely get a larger a larger chainsaw because uh, the 291 was, I mean, it did it just fine. It just probably took twice as long to do. So uh, just keep that in mind. There you go. I don't know if you can see those are the four that we got and then I got the top piece underneath there And then that's the bottom piece there We're gonna get this bottom piece out of the way and I'm gonna make like a little stand out of two logs Just to just notch them so I can roll it up on there and that it, it'll get it off the ground So I can cut cut a little lower than uh, than maybe what I could get on this one. So we'll see how that works out